Hello and welcome to DCC Tutorials. Today I'm going to cover something that I think a lot of people ask about and are curious about, and it's a very simple and short tutorial. And we're going to talk about importing um, an image sequence into After Effects and rendering out a video that you can, you know, play or upload to YouTube or whatever you want to do with it. So let's get started. It's pretty simple. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go File, Import, File. We're going to navigate to our image sequence. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of images. Click your first one, and you'll see that it will recognize automatically, usually, that it's an image sequence if they're all named um, with consecutive numbers. So make sure it says PNG sequence or whatever type of image sequence it is. It doesn't just have to be PNG. It can be JPEG, TIFF, whatever you want. And then we're going to hit import and we'll see that After Effects recognizes that it's a sequence. We can drag that down into a new comp and you will see that if we hit the space bar it plays the image sequence out. And so now we're going to go to composition we're going to go to add to render queue or control M. And now that we're in our render queue down here we can choose our output type and where we want to send it to. So let's go to, let's click this lossless button and we can pick our file type and we have all these different file types to choose from. Now you want to pick something that is not an image sequence if you want to render out a video. In this case we'll do a QuickTime video. Um, you can do many other types as well but we're going to do QuickTime. And then in, under format options we can switch our video codec and we can also pick our video quality we're just going to leave it on H.264 and then we're going to click OK and also some things don't have audio turned on by default by the way so you can change the audio codec and you can add audio sometimes you'll have to ch add a checkbox so just make sure if you're rendering out something and you want to have audio in it that you have that on and then we'll just pick where we want to output it to. So let's output this to our desktop. Call this amazing video. And then click save. Hit render. And you can see it's rendering it out. Give it a second. You can see it's already made the file and it's just building the video now and render is complete so now we can open it up in VLC or QuickTime and watch our thing as a video I hope this is helpful and like and subscribe 